Hey, Sneaky Linux Factor. Yes, I'm back. It's Puppy Linux 5.3 Slacko, or SPUP, or Spot, whichever one you want to call it. It is now based with Slacko repos. Yes, no longer Ubuntu or anything like that, or Debs or anything. This is Slackware. How it used to be in Puppy many moons ago, written in T2, by the way. So, yeah, not the band, the programming language. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, T2. Not heartbroken. Okay, I'll go through it with you. It is basic puppy. There's some bits and bobs missing, but hey, they'll all come along as the, the distro comes along, mainly. So you get the usual puppy stuff here. File, help, install, edit, console, what I said before. Play, draw, paint, calc. Under right, <coughs> excuse me, it is Abbey Wood. Okay, and it done that thing again. Look, does that sometimes. Okay, it is Abbey Wood, but it is Abbey Wood 2.9.1. Yes, we're getting near to the point three now. 3.0, I'll be happy when that comes along. Super fast, does what it says on the tin. Calc, as you would know, will be G numeric, which I'll open up for you really quickly. There you go. Well, I haven't found it as fast as I was wanted to, like, an, like it was in the betas and some of the alphas. So it might be just the machine I've used it on, I don't know really. But hey, there's quite a few programs missing if you've been using 5.2.8 or 5.2.5, okay? Quite a few that you may want and need. So this may not be the pup for you. Although 525 stroke 528 is still going to be going along. No, nobody's getting rid of it. There won't be no official releases though. I don't think. There might be some updates, but that'd be about it. Right, for your browser, standard, you get head Simon K. That's Simon K. The monk, monkey fish. Oh yes. Works fine, super duper. You can get other stuff if you really want it. Under chat, you get, I'll show you, XChat. Do I want to use that? No, you want a proper client, really. Unless you want to use IRC. Can you really? Yeah, give it that. Do you want it? Your planner, as you do expect, is going to be Osmo. Works, does what it says out the team. You get Connect Wizard. But if you've got Ethernet connection, it'll connect automatically. So don't forget down here to do your firewall. Yes, you need to do it. It's in the setup section anyway. So let's quit Osmo. Right. We used to have Quick Pet, didn't we? Remember? Well, now we have Slick Pet. There we go. I'll open that for you. So it's based on the same sort of thing. So it's now Slick Pet instead of Quick Pet because it's using Slackos. Bit of different here, some different things. You get some known games and stuff like that. Internet pets, what do you get? You can get the latest Firefox, the latest Chromium, the latest Opera, Tor, and Pigeon. And yeah, SFS files. That's not the Gestapo, by the way. Yes, it's just the files. You get a few things, you get cartoon and stuff like that. But if I open up a bit more, you'll be able to see a bit more. If I open up like that, you will need OpenGL and some driver tabs. If you want Google Earth, you want to all the um, QT stuff. For all that which is down here somewhere, we're at Qtool. You're going to need that for quite a lot of stuff. That needs uh, installing as well. There's some games. Skype Static is there, but it's not uh, the most current one. We really need that one updated like now. It would be good for me, really. There's a math suite in there. Right. <clears throat> there is no Blender. Okay. There's no Open Shot. Right. That's too major. There is no Record My Desktop. Okay. That's another bad one. There is also no Virtual Box. Right. So, like, you know, we're missing some things here. So, the only thing that's changed, really, we're going, over, we're going over to Slackware, really. So, some of you may not want to do this. But, hey, it's entirely up to you. I'm going for the menu up. It's usual puppy stuff, like usual, usual. Under system, usual, usual. You install it the same way. Usual, usual, usual. Setup is usual. Did I say usual? Yeah, I said usual, didn't I? Uh, over here, you've got set up puppy so you can check your dependencies. It is quite quick once you've got it all going, but not how I'd, I'd like it. But hey, it's the first one, so there you go. And here, you can check your dependencies, puppy package manager. Should we go there? Yeah, we'll go to the puppy package manager. Now, when it opens, eventually, see what I mean? Eventually, yeah, like that. Well, I've changed it to the classic view. The other one is Ziggy, but I didn't like it. Well, I've updated the package, man package manager. It didn't seem to change too much, actually, to be really honest with you. So, yeah, I don't know. But you can get the Pupcock sets, the people papers and stuff like that. Okay, so under system, work, we'll go down here, have another quick look here. Not a lot, really. Yeah, okay, so the repos need to be done. Apparently, you can use the Slacky with repos as well, but I've actually got around to doing that. Because when i done that before with 525, 528, and the 52 series, they didn't always work, okay? Under utilities, what have we got? Virus scanner, lovely. You can get the pup control center and pup apps launcher. That's fine. A wine is here and an antivirus. Another one down there. Xbox or F prod, whatever you like. File system comes as rocks as standard, but you can have Emacs as a hex editor. Under graphics, okay, we go down here. You can install Gimpy. So that's one of the main ones. So that's not too bad. And there is pup snap for taking a shot of your screen. That's not a video, okay. Under documents, 
There we go down. You get Bluefish for Bluefish text editor. There's some other stuff there. Pick some back ends for some scanners. You see, I mean, it actually really needed us a bit more, really. And the business, we've actually got nothing there. Okay, pretty. Okay, and the personal, what well, we got? Just XPad here. And the network, bear in mind I've updated this. Oh, there's the Broadcom Wi Fi driver, so that'd be pretty cool. And under internet, we get Chromium Cloud stuff for cloud internet apps. These are all in the slick pet as well, by the way. Google Chrome, you can have the actual Google Chrome and not Chromium. Okay, there's Ion, Ion's there, Pigeon, Tor Browser's there, Slyfid Transmission, you get. Okay, under multimedia, right, what we got here? Right, VLC's there, that's pretty cool. M Player's all there, WFMPEG, Dead Beef, lovely jubbly, Asunder's already there anyway. And under fun, we have three games and the Gnome Game Suite, just a little selection there. Right. My opinion on Slacko at the moment is it really needs some stuff in the repos. It really does to compete with 528 stroke 525, if you know what I'm saying. It really, really does. All right. Back to the menu one more time. I'll just go through it quickly with you. Graphics. I've been through this. You know what it looks like. Document. You know what it looks like. You know what it looks like. Personal. You know what it looks like. Network's the same. There's a, f oh, a couple of new things there, but not, no, not nothing to get me going too quickly. As you can see, I did install Skype, as I said earlier, and it's installed Flash already, so that's pretty cool. Right. One little thing I thought, I thought I'd download is Zen Sound. I'll open it up for you. And if you like to like not twist your melon, man, and do stuff like that, and you have these, like, um, um, moments, and you want to chill out, this is apparently something done by a crusty lobster many moons ago, and it's been reworked. I can't actually play you the sounds, but you're supposed to listen to them for like for 20 minutes at each one. And so if you want to like do basic relaxation, some concentration, some sleep, some meditation, and stuff like that. Oh, chakras. They do some chakras for you, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that was rather interesting. So if you're going to get it, go and check it out. You can also get it for the other pups too. It is also available. All right. So that would be pretty cool. Well, on the whole, it's really nice. It's cool. It works. But it's missing some really, really, really important programs, in my opinion. So you may want to wait before you go and get it. Okie dokie. What am I going to give this one? Unfortunately, because of all the missing stuff, I can only give it 3.5 out of 5, which is a real big bad pity. Sneaky. And next, going out a little bit depressed. Um, um...